its very narrow understanding of the Allah case, um, which was the justification or the explanation given by our then Attorney General. Now he categorized this case as a case involving a newspaper, involving uh, licensing laws under another piece of legislation that we have called the Printing Presses and Publications Act and the license granted by the minister for the publication of a newspaper and the terms and conditions of that license. So the long and the short of the case which dragged on for you know almost five years uh, was the fact that um, the minister in charge of uh, presses, uh, printing presses and publications, he was fully entitled and within the scope of his powers under the law to make, uh, to impose certain terms and conditions on this newspaper run by the Catholic Church called the Herald to prohibit them from referring to God using the Muslim term Allah. Right. Now, that was the narrow application of law. So if you accept the narrow application of law, then you're saying that this decision only binds the newspaper and possibly any other newspaper that is licensed under the Printing Presses and Publications Act. But there are uh, moves within the government to sort of say, well, no, this is not just of limited application. This is of broad and general application. And what the court in that case decided was that Christians in general cannot use the word Allah uh, in uh, their worship or in print, in publication, in anything. That this is a word that is uh, solely the preserve of uh, the religion of Islam uh, in Malaysia. And so what we are, what we are seeing now also um, is an attempt by the government through something that sounds very innocuous like standard operating procedures to try and say, okay, these are the rules that govern the importation of Bibles written in Malay, the Malay language, which have the use of Allah as, as God in those uh, editions and these are some of the ways in which we will allow them to be imported into uh, Malaysia and what we see are however restrictions and very severe limitations on what would be allowed so it's almost as though that for some reason well they may have considered that they lost the decision in the Allah case to make it general and so they are trying to achieve by backdoor regulations and something, as I said, as innocent as calling it uh, an SOP uh, to somehow restrict and prohibit the, the free uh, importation of uh, Bibles in the Malay language using the word Allah uh, for circulation uh, in churches or even for, for general usage.